We can also use the flat size to describe the size of printing signatures. This is usually a process limited to commercial printers because they are the only source who truly know how they, as the printer, will choose to lay out the project for printing. It is hard to know how a printer will choose to lay out the pages for printing because printing presses come in a variety of sizes. Some printing companies may have 40 inch wide presses while others may be limited to a 35 inch wide sheet. However, we can approximate the flat size of our project as a signature to make some reasonable estimations about the production run. Signatures are a large sheet of paper folded down to make multiple smaller pages. They are used when producing multi-page documents that are bound in some way. Multiple pages are printed on the front and back of large press sheets that, when folded, transform into a finished size folded signature containing all the pages in the signature in the order they will appear in the finished book. Signatures can then be stacked or nested together in a, and then bound into a book. On the left-hand side example, these are multiple signatures and they are stacked. And so pages 1 through 16 are in the first signature, 17 through 32 are in the next signature, 33 through 48, etc. When you stack signatures, it's very easy to figure out where your page lands because the first 16 pages are always in the first signature and then the next 16 are in the next signature, etc. However, where the page lands on the signature can, can be different depending on how many pages are in your book and how big your signatures are. On the second example on the right hand side, you can see that although I am printing 16 pages, I am not printing them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Page 1 is in the bottom right hand corner on the front side of the press sheet, while page 2 is in the bottom left hand corner on the back of the press sheet. But between the front and the back, when I take one big sheet of paper and I fold it down, all the numbers and all the pages will line up and they will be put back into order 1 through 16 if I'm using stack signatures. Later in this lecture, we'll talk about using saddle stitch binding, which is a nested binding method, and we'll talk about how that just completely throws all the page numbers out of sequence. Printing signatures can be 2, 4, 8, or 16 pages, with 16 pages being ideal. In general, we use 16 page signatures unless we don't have enough pages. Then we'll use 8 page signatures unless we don't have enough pages. This pattern continues with 4 page and then 2 page signatures. 2 page signatures are not ideal and can only be used if the binding method for the project allows for a 2 page signature. Saddle stitching, for example, requires at least a 4 page signature to be functional. And so if you're saddle stitching your book, and you figure out your pages and you have two extra pages at the end of your signatures, you will not be able to use saddle stitching for your project or you'll either have to add at least two more pages or delete the two extra pages.